Hi, I'm Peter Beasy. I'm the editor in chief of Inside Dental Technology. And I'm happy to be joined today by what I'd call an old friend. Uh, welcome, BJ, BJ Kowalski. How are you? Great, Peter. Nice to, nice to see you and talk to you again. Always nice to see you. It's actually, uh, we have a nice long history together. So I have to be honest and tell you, I'm always very proud to see all the things that you've done and accomplished over the years. I remember when we got to work together all those years ago. And I think the, the real beauty of it for me is, is how far you've taken your concepts of not only business, but uh, the technology and putting them all together. So this is kind of a, a great session for us because I actually have some curiosity about a particular product and I have a feeling you're the guy I'd like to speak to about it. So give me um, some information if you can. Um, I know you're big in, in digital printing today and I believe you're using the digital Lucitone print from Densply Serona today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we, we've been using um, the Dent Supply product really from, from the beginning. We had uh, already had some design experience with other products on the market, uh, but when Lucitone Digital Print came out, um, you know, it, it really, uh, you know, carved us a much clearer path forward with moving our, our denture processes into a digital way. So how, how much of your denture process have you, have you moved into that position? And can you tell me how it's, it's helped or benefited in the ease of the workflow? Yeah, sure. You know, we started out with um, uh, with with uh, immediate dentures, you know, temporary dentures, things that weren't going to be, uh, you know, too permanent. And as we had great success with those, we started, um, you know, expanding it on. At this point, um, you know, we do, um, you know, a good percentage, about forty percent of our, our denture production is, is digital, and it's increasing uh, all the time. It's almost. Uh, I just quickly looked before our conversation. Um, like every for those since 2015 when we started, it's it's more than doubled every year the amount of business that we've moved over into a digital way as, as opposed to uh, the conventional way. And I'm 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 quite sure that um, you know as our uh, fortunately we don't have any equipment problem, but as equipments go down or we need to buy more in you know uh, injection processing machines, um, you know we would just move more of our production to digital because I, I believe it's the way of the future. So it, it, that's fabulous, right? That's a, a big number. Have you felt that it's eased the process across the board? I mean, obviously from a manual dexterity point of view into a digital, but are there, are there any other key aspects that you think have made this so much more user-friendly for you? Yeah, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're a, a, a bit larger in a growing lab and it's nice to have a, a, like a truly scalable process that we can replicate day in and day out. Um, with dentures, it's always been the, the bottleneck has always been the denture setup person. Um, and with the digital design process for doing dentures, it's, it's so much easier to train someone um, how to be a great you know, a denture setup person digitally than it is to do it conventionally because it just takes all those tactile features kind of out of the equation. Um, and it does a lot of things automatically, you know, just like, you know, design work put, I need enough to teach uh, you know, secondary anatomy as you can appreciate, I think you were doing like a waxing course back in the day. We don't, have to, we don't teach secondary anatomy uh, you know, for people waxing like we used to, you know, um, just the same way as with denture setup. So it definitely makes a, the training cycle a much shorter. I think one of the major advantages, especially in the digital process, the a digital process for me, and I and I curious to pick your brain on this, um, utilizing the three D trial prints and the three D trial um, aesthetic outlines. Have you utilized that much? And has that saved you a lot of time in the sets and resets process? Yeah, I guess it, it has. We, we've, um, we do do try-ins of those cases with a, you know, like a white type material. But you know, if we use a photo for taking the images and particularly on, on some cases where we, we're feeling pretty good about it. And a lot of times we go, right to, we go right to finish and we tell the doctor, hey, if it's not right, just send it back. We'll do something called a reverse reset. And we basically would, um, remake the denture with their changes because the cost to us to um, to give them a try-in denture versus a final process one uh, the economics really aren't that different you know the because the, the process is the same it's just different materials so we have slightly higher material cost but i say in a lot of our cases right from the, the setup uh, after the digital setup is approved if they even look at it we go right to the finish and if it doesn't work if it works great we save an appointment and we look like a hero if it doesn't work we charge them a higher reverse reset fee and we make them another one. So, and I want to pick on that spot for a second. So realistically, because I love the concept of actually utilizing the, the trial placement 
Um, but you're saying from a cost point of view, although that's useful, you're kind of getting the same effect going straight, even though you're utilizing um, a cementing or bonding tooth process to your prints. Uh, correct. Interesting. Okay, great. And then in the um, in the actual final process, I mean, one of the advantages I think with some of these Lucitone prints today that you're using is they're they're pretty multi fact um, faceted in the sense that they are high strength and they're color reinforced. So are those things that have also made it. I say color reinforced is probably the wrong word, but there's a multitude of color choices I think today with the prints, and I don't think you're mixing any of them, right? They're all pre-mixed for you, so it's got to be a major time savings and a useful process. Yeah, there's there's nothing really left to chance with their process. You know, so many things in the lab lab world. Once you get a process in house, you start tweaking it and making little changes to make it your own. Um, you know, with the Lucidone Digital Dent process, we basically follow their their SOP right out of the box. And um, you know, it's been really successful from their cementing process to their, um, you know, their, their printing process and printing times. You know, their partnership with Carbon has been great. Um, so we, um, uh, you know, we found it. It's you know, it's really been a game changer for us uh, with a, a material that's second to none. And is there a direct um, final tooth that that's pertinent to the print? Well, we we I mean, of course we use the IPN 3D digital teeth. Um, okay. That's Kind of a plug and play assembly they go in there they're they're really trimmed with the next you know gone on the lingual so it fits really nicely um you know they they are you know working on uh, means to do uh, printed teeth as well as mill mill teeth blocks i think are on their radar to to incorporate those uh, in the marketplace as a defined product so bj one thing that's interesting is that, again i think you have a, a vast experience in so many different materials how do you say this material compares to some of the other materials that you've used today and, and over the past few years and the evolution of where it's going? Uh, yeah, Peter, uh, as printed materials go, and we work with, did, with milled dentures and printed dentures and multiple kinds of printed dentures, and as printed uh, materials go, it's definitely best in class. Uh, there's nothing else like it. Um, I think from the, the strength perspective, the aesthetics perspective of it, how it looks, uh, the bonding, I don't, I don't, frankly, I don't know if we have one toothy bond from this material since we've, since we've had it. And if we had it, you know, with the hundreds of units we do a month, um, it's an amazing success rate. So by far, it's our, our favorite, you know, material. And then, you know, having it, you know, work in the carbon system, it has a, a it has a pretty large platform on the carbon. So we can get, uh, you know, one plate, we can get nine, nine dentures done pretty quickly. You know, we have multi multiple machines, so we can really scale this uh, this product to grow really quickly with it between, um, you know, not having remakes because it's a strong product uh, and, and it's the aesthetics of it compared to regular dentures is very comparable. Okay, great. Well, listen, I really appreciate all the information. I'm sorry. It's uh, also a learning experience for me sometimes with some of these interviews. So, and it's always great to see you, BJ. So I really appreciate your time. Thank you and uh, hope to see you again soon. Okay, great. Good to see you, Peter. Have a nice day. Take care.